Chris, some of the conditions uh, that come along with Governor Brownback's ceasefire offer today are not really that surprising. One of the biggest, of course, deals with the fact that both these states have tax incentive packages to try and lure companies to relocate. And these tax breaks, not surprisingly, are different. Brownback wants Missouri to change its tax incentive laws so that the two states' incentives are more similar to one another. Now, that is easier said than done, especially since Missouri lawmakers would have to do that and their legislative session is almost over and it's compounded by the fact that that Missouri jobs incentive deal expires when the lawmakers go home in mid-May. But what almost everybody agrees upon is this, is that picking one another's pocket does absolutely nothing to improve the local economy. You are basically slogging to the bottom of the swamp and to spend your time trying to fleece your neighbor of jobs basically is a waste of time. What you should be doing is going to other states trying to appeal to jobs. Now, next week, some Missouri lawmakers hope to meet with some officials from Kansas to see if there truly is some sort of deal out there that would end the border war. This is not the first time it's been tried. We'll see if this one sticks. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.